Hi everyone, in this video we are going to create this timeline layout as you can see. It's looking quite impressive and we can use this type of layout in our portfolio. And so let's get started. So let me first open VS Code. And here we can see, uh, as always I have already created our starter file. And here there are some style and let's start now. Here I am going to create one container that will contains all the elements. So container and let give it some style. So container and background color B1 to hire color white and here I want height for now for RAM and I will remove later on and I want background color of body where color VZ now let's open with live server here we can see our white container is here and let's give the width of container and center to it so first go to style and here i want max width 60 ram and margin auto and now we can see it's in center and let's give the some padding in body so padding to ram Now we can see just looking like same and let's take one heading so go here and take h1 and give the class name heading and here my resume and let's give the style so select that one heading and padding 1.5 rem and 2 rem and now we can see here is our my resume and let's remove the height of the container now we can see it's looking nice let's change the font of this heading and I am going to set inside of body so font family poppins and otherwise sans serif and now we can see it's looking nice like this one and let's create one container that will contain this timeline and these items so go here and take one container timeline wrapper and that wrapper contain one timeline icon and let's open the remix icon click on get us started and scroll down and copy this CDN link and go to our index.html and paste between head tag and go here and I am going to copy this community icon and paste here simply so now I am going to take one container timeline and here I want timeline item and that item contain one heading let's see here one heading 
and one subheading and here are text so let's go here and i want s2 and give the timeline title and here copy this one and simply paste here and take one paragraph timeline and here date and let's copy this one paste here create one another paragraph and give timeline and give some text now we can see here and let's give the summer style so it will look nice and give the style of this icon so go here and select that icon so timeline icon and here I want color fire color white and background color color primary and width 4 ram height 4 ram align center and here border radius 50% now let's see here as you can see this is our icon but it's not in center so let give here line height for ram and give some font size 1.8 ram now we can see just looking nice and give the padding now select this timeline wrapper and go here and select the timeline wrapper and padding to ram now just looking nice and here as you can see here is a dash border and so let me add dash border here inside of heading so just write border bottom one pixel dash and we want color primary and now we can see it's looking like like this one let's install this vertical lines and this one so go here and select here select timeline and give padding left to rem and now we can see it's looking nice and give the border left of this timeline item so select that one timeline item here padding left padding left remove this one i doesn't want give first border left two pixel solid and where color primary now we can see as you can see vertical line middle of this icon so we want to some padding as you can see here is a some gap so just go here and give the padding here padding to ram now we can see it's looking nice and let's create the this circle so 
so first I am going to select the title timeline title and here font size I want one point to run color while primary just use the pseudo class timeline title after and contain position absolute left zero and top zero and with one ram and height also one ram and border radius 50 percent now it will look like circle now we can see before so we need to add background color so we can see where color primary now we can see here is our circle so give the relative of this title so here relative and now we can see and we know that gap is 2 rem so i want this circle here so we need to minus of this padding from this circle so go here and we just minus 2 rem and now we can see it touch the circle but not in middle so let's subtract the half of the circle width so here is the width is 1 ram so we need to half 0.5 now we can see it's looking nice and but this one is not middle so i am going to give the sum minus margin top so it will look nice margin top 0.5 ram and here i want top point fiber now it's looking nice as you can see and here we can see and let's give the margin bottom margin bottom point fiber and here we can see it's looking nice and let's give the style of this text so go and select timeline date and here I want font weight 6000 and margin bottom 1 ram and background color simply where color dark one and now we can sorry we need to color not background color now it's looking nice here we need to change for weight now we can see it's looking nice and let's give the summer style of this text so select that one timeline the yes and now here i want font size point 9 rem and color high color dark too now we can see as you can see it's looking nice like this one and let's copy the item and we will style further more and copy this one just paste here and now we can see and paste one more time now it's looking nice but here so here we can see last item does not have 
left border so we need to remove from the hair first so go here and just remove from here and here we write timeline item not select last child we doesn't run in last child and here now we can see it's looking nice but here we can see so just remove the padding of top from the this item padding top zero and now as you can see we are also touching the this icon and but here is the some gap so just need to add padding in first item so how can we do that that's very easy just go here and select the timeline item and first child and give the padding top to ram now we can see it's looking like this one and let's create another section so just go here in html and copy this one i want to copy this one and just paste here and go here and go to and remix icon here such suit yes and copy this one and just paste here and now we can see so now it's looking like this one and i am not gonna to write this all the content same this content here so this is for you and it is also responsive let's see as you can see this is a responsive and nothing gonna broken right now here is you can see and you can change this some padding and adjust to phone so it is looking more better so i am going to leave here i hope you understood this one i will meet you in next one stay safe